Taylor have won more major titles than this man. In the PDC, that is. James Wade is a big beast of world darts. Dan Dawson in the commentary box. And alongside me, Rob Malarkey. Well, we always thought it was going to be a very special evening, didn't we? This uh, particular session, and Michael Smith and Mensur Sulevich have set the tone. Now it's the turn of James Wade, seeded two here in Dusseldorf. But he won't have everything his own way, even though he's up against the qualifier Dirk van Dijvenbode, a man who's never been beyond the second round of a European Tour event. He went close, he was beaten 6-5 by Wes Newton in the second round of an event, I think it was last year. Also uh, lost to uh, Dimitri Vandenberg 6-5 earlier this year in Gibraltar as well. That was in a first round match. So Van Dijvenbode is on the verge of uh, achieving something he's never achieved before. Winner plays Mark Webster, who was ruthless earlier today in his second round match, beating Steve Beaton, the 15th seed, by six legs to one. Just one or two minor adjustments to the board by Kirk Bevins, having survived the Van Dijvenbode walk-on. Only just. Only just, but we are back underway, ready for action. The players just finalising their warm-up. Wade's got a big support here, by the way. He's a very, very Same popular player in Germany. First leg is James to throw first. Game on! His last uh, visit to this country was for the German Darts Masters in Munich at Easter, reached the quarter-finals. And Wade getting us underway here. 134. Going for the old hobo chic, James Wade, today. Do with a shave, but. <laughs> 43. Wade and Webster, by the way. Two lookalikes meeting potentially tomorrow, don't you well, think? I mean. Okay, they both, they wear, both wear specs. Yeah. <laughs> There's more to it than 59. That. And you know it, Dawson. <laughs> by the way, you've still got the shorts on. All right. Leave it, Malarkey. It's cooled down significantly. Weather-wise. 25. And Dijvenboda very cold there, though, with uh, 25. Bound to be feeling the occasion here. 96. The young Dutchman. Trying to G himself up for this visit. Wade already with a significant advantage. 60. Yeah, James Wade. Obviously, one in Gibraltar on the European Tour. It was around about that time that really kick-started his renaissance as a, as a dart player. It was his first title for three years. Came off the back of a run to the final the weekend before that on the Pro Tour. But since then, I mean, he's won three more Pro Tours. He won the Masters. 60. which is Wild, 152. Seventh major title. Eight if you include the Championship League. James Wade is back. 60. And he's going into the match play, a tournament he absolutely loves. 93. James Uruguay, 92. So 92 for James Wade. Double 16. It's not his favourite. But it's James Wade. Doesn't matter what W you give him. Loves the double yeah, 10, doesn't he? First, uh, he yeah. takes out the double 16. Second leg is Dirk to throw first. And he leads on. by one leg to nil. Didn't uh, make an appearance at Riza last uh, month, by the way. 93. Opted to uh, let that one go. For one reason or another. 100. Wade, has got a fascinating first round match at the World Match Play, by the way. Kyle Anderson, the Australian who's making his debut as Dirk Van Dijven Boda fills it up. I mean, Wade will be favourite for that, but Kyle Anderson is playing some phenomenal darts at the minute. It could be an absolute stormer of a first, first round match. 64. Just momentarily distracted behind the scenes here. One of the uh, walk-on girls did a Van Dijvenbode walk-on impersonation just to uh, right there. Just caught my eye. Back to the board. 57. Well, it would. Dirk Uruguay, 164. 45. Missed opportunity there for Van Dijvenbode. 
He's opened the door for Wadey. Oh, Wade's kicking his opponent while he's down there. Moves to within 64 of a uh, two-leg lead. 40. Yeah, he looks to be a little bit uh, shell-shocked at the moment, Van Dijvenbode, despite that 180 that he rattled in just a few moments ago. Tops it is then for a 2-0 lead. One more bite at the cherry for James Wade. Game shot on the second leg, James Wade. And he bites it. Third leg is James to throw first. And he spits out the stone Game and he on. leads 2-0. Just a stretch that analogy to breaking point. 137. Well, James Wade, he has an incredible habit of just winning important legs, taking out important shots. He doesn't often go on and smash people up 6-0, 6-1. Not often, at any rate. But the way he started this one, 59. there's a danger. Mm. I wouldn't be surprised if he has a little mid-game snooze, Dirt gets a couple of scrappy legs, and then he suddenly wakes up again. The problem is, sometimes what you don't always it? wake up in time. We shall see. He's had one or two problems on the European circuit this year, though. I remember in Munich he wasn't feeling too well after his uh, third round win. He eventually, 16. or in his next match, he went out at the hands of Adrian Lewis 6 0. He was clearly feeling the effects of some bug or other. Uh, made a second round exit in uh, Venray as well after 16. one or two problems getting over to Holland in the first place. Lost to Dave Pallet 6 4. Made the semis in Jib. And he was a quarter-finalist here last year as well, losing to Gary Anderson. Wade in the mood for a maximum, but not quite on that uh, occasion. Wade actually might be quite glad that uh, Anderson's not here. He's been beaten by Anderson recently. 8-1 in Japan and also 10-8, uh, a more respectable scoreline in Dubai as well. I think he lost to him in the Premier League as well, in amongst all that. 45. Well, 45 should guarantee him a couple of darts at double top. Van Dijvenbode just wants to set 99. it up, and that's okay without being brilliant. There could have been more pressure, but James Wade's a man who doesn't really feel pressure, it seems. They call in the machine. Game and shot to the stuff like that. James Wade. Fourth leg is Dirk to throw first. Game on. Yeah, good gauge of popularity, by the way. He said Wade's a popular player here in Germany. Good gauge of that is looking at the merchandise stalls, and there's uh, a lot of it devoted to uh, Wade out there. I would imagine the Peter Wright that was Peter prevalent. Wright wigs. Yeah, they, they absolutely adore that man here. Uh, snake bike t shirts in children's sizes as well. Wow. Popular with the kids, too, it seems. Lots of chizzy paraphernalia out there as well. Wade, though, 100. coming up with the goods here. Oh, he looks to be in the mood all right here, James Wade. No hanging around from him. The number two 42. seed cruising at the moment. 60. Well, Dirk van Dijvenbode has got to find something. He's got to find something very good and very quickly because having made a rather storming entrance to the stage he is cutting far more subdued <laughs> figure yeah he's not quite backed it up has he 94 james require 146 four one eight is in his win over leo Hendricks yesterday just the one so far today needs something just to give him a bit of a lift he needs a just a shot in the arm to get the crowd back on side once again although wait Supporters may well outnumber those of Van Dijvenbode as well. 89. And Wade moving to within touching distance of a 4 0 lead here. 115. That's nice though from uh, Di Van Dijvenbode. 17 for double top though for Wade and 4 0 and a James second break of throw James and it's Wade. all looking a little bit easy for the seven time major winner. Game on. Well, when Wade's playing like this, he's really good to watch. I'm like, okay, you can only beat what's put in front of you, but 
irrespective of the opposition, he's just playing the board very well. He's just look, looking very composed, very relaxed. 60. Seems to be in good spirits when he was walking around the hotel earlier as well. Lots of room there for another. Could do with backing up with uh, at least one, and he does. 140. Yeah, we see that average from Wade, 94, 94 and a half. I mean, it isn't going to terrify anyone, that. 124 nil up. It it's, enough. it's enough. It's enough, yeah. Matter. It's the old James Wade formula. Just average one more than your opponent and take out the right shot at the right time, and you'll be fine. 123. He's not missing a great deal on the doubles. No idea what Van Dijvenboot is finishing like. 38. 38. Well, Wade will get down to a finish first, of course, on the throw. 138. Oh, and he set it up beautifully as well. Well, we saw a... Ooh. If oh, players, I was going to say, if players could concede legs like they do in snooker, I think Van Dijvenboot, it might well cross his mind here. Games there you on go. As sure as night follows day. Five so minutes. Like 13 data. Game on. It's a very professional display from James Wade here, but here comes Van Dyke. Oh, no. That just about sums up his night, really. Yeah, when it's not your day, it's not your day. It'd be even worse if Wade was to stick in. Oh, another one here. 100. Just a ton. We have seen a whitewash this weekend. Just the one, if memory serves correctly. That was Wes Newton, Wes Newton against Gerwin Price. Price. Yeah. 96. Rowby won 6-1. Terry Jenkins, a 6-1 winner, of course, earlier on today against Big John Henderson as well. Having lost the first leg. Yep. Just rattled them all off. 93. In one fell swoop. Not one single 57. leg of more than 15 darts for Terry Jenkins today as well. Talk about consistency, that was a perfect illustration by the ball. 100. Yeah, he's some player, is Terry Jenkins. The man, of course, who ended Michael Van Gerwen's 31 game unbeaten streak earlier this year on a pro tour. He had a 21 game 58. unbeaten run on the European tour. That was ended by Benito van der Pass last time out. Benito, he's Ouch. gone home. He's gone. James Wade. Well, Van Dijvenboda has left himself a finish, but it's 170, 170, and James Wade's just whacked in 168 to leave himself tops. Van Dijvenboda, it is turning 45. out to be a rather tame exit from the European 40. darts open for him, because Wade is looking at another 13 dart leg. And Game there it is, Hamlet. James Wade James completes Wade. the second whitewash of the weekend. And the number two seed underlines his credentials for this title. He's won on the European Tour before now. He goes in.